What's up everybody heading to Southwest College kind of near Inglewood final four of the Drew League Everyone from Kobe Bryant to Chris Paul has played in this thing today is a special day because not only is it four teams left But I'm also gonna sit down with a young man named Frank Nitty MVP of this league back to back years I'm gonna sit down with him and just see what the whole Drew League is all about What's the atmosphere like what are the people like what's the scene so let's ride <laughs> makes it unique is that uh, it's just a bunch of people who are hungry enough that are going to give you their best game every game. So um, with that being said, uh, it's just a different atmosphere because nobody's, you know, letting you take advantage of them. Everybody's out here playing their heart out um, in front of fans. Uh, it's the highest level of play, you know, for a pro-am that I've ever seen. Um, it, it's just different with the fans and how they react to plays and everything. So it's a, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. For the most part, it's just hard and determination. Um, I got a nine to five, so I don't I don't work out on my game. I don't have the time. I'm a, I'm a manager, so I work six days a week. But uh, I find one to two days to go get you know a good run in at, at somewhere, you know anywhere, LA Fitness, wherever it is. Uh, I just find it to go get a good run in. But for the most part, my team, you know, they put me in a position to to be the leader I am, to score and to, you know, never never let me let up. And if, if I'm letting up, they'll come tell me, like, well, I need you to turn it on. So um, it, it's my team, man. They they all pull for me. We wouldn't be here without Frank, man. Um, when, I first, when I first met Frank, man, I knew that uh, I had to have him on my team. I got him on my team. I built my team around him, and now we're family, man. We wouldn't be here without Frank, man. Frank is the nucleus of Birdie's Revenge. And 15-0, uh, heading into the championship without any NBA pro basketball players is nothing short of amazing, and he's the reason, man. We played through Frank. Game is the heart and soul of this team. I don't think not a lot of people know it because uh, the way he plays, but, man, he's the heart and soul of this team. That's my one of my best friends, man. Um, he, gives, he gives everyone an extra chip on their shoulder. He is probably one of the, the craziest on-the-court players I've ever seen. Besides Bell, which is our big man, um, he just makes sure that you know no one's going to take advantage of us or no one's going to punk us on the court. And teams need that. We need that to you know to to make sure that we're coming to play every game. Uh, not a lot of people know that Game was the first person in the gym today. <laughs> he beat me in the gym. So um, he, he's just a leader. Uh, he's a natural born leader. He makes sure that uh, on the court that we're all ready to go. Uh, like I said, we're we're a family. We're a dysfunctional family, but we're 15 and 0. Um, looking to win a championship tomorrow, 16 and 0. Um, but yeah, he brings a lot to the table in, in terms of the way he acts, the way he voices his opinions. He has a really high IQ. I don't know if a lot of people know it. He's really smart when it comes to basketball. Um, so I mean, I, I listen to him. Him and Tracy, like I, they they know the game better than you know most players do. So I listen to him, take it, and, and keep it moving. <laughs> Where I'm from, when I'm from, um, the, the, the heart of Watts, Jordan Downs, um, everybody's in your face. Everybody's in your face. Uh, I'm not the player to take it as bad. I know it, it all means well. So um, at the end of it, you got to just take the positive. There's a lot of negative being said, but at the same time, you listen to the, to the positive. It's easy to focus on the negative. Um, the best players, you know, yell at their, you know, their, their mentors. Um, but I just want to be able to, to take that. I know that it's uncomfortable for a lot of players, but I just want to be able to take that, take the positive out of it, turn it around, because I'm the same way. If I get mad at one of my players, I want them to do the same thing. Take that. I, I know I'm yelling at you in frustration, but I want you to take that, flip into a positive, and come out even better. That's why in the second half we look so much better, because I need that sometimes. I need somebody to be on me, you know, to not let me let up. So, I mean, I'm fine with all that. I'm, I'm used to it. That's where I grew up. That's how, you know, everybody else has talked to me. Uh, they expect a lot out of me. So. Um, it's, it means well. That's me. I, I have to set an example on and off the court. I got two kids, uh, a wife. I need to make sure that um, I set an example for them growing up. My parents set an example for me. So I just want to be able to, you know, uh, show people there's more to life than just sports. 
Um, you can always take care of your family with, you know, a normal nine to five and, and sports will be there. Um, if the opportunity presents itself, then great, take it. But you always want to make sure that um, you take advantage of uh, a family. Families don't come so often. They're hard to keep together um, on a court. Our team, British Revenge, we all call each other a family. So um, family's first, man, basketball is second. Um, that, that's always been a thought in my mind because uh, growing up, uh, that's all I knew. Young Ray, can you turn me up? I've played a lot of places. The Jew is probably one of the hardest places to play just because it's every type of player. You got the number one on high school kids in the nation, the number one uh, NBA player from James Harden who just got the biggest contract. You got the best college players that come here to play. It's just, it's just your highest level of play that, uh, that, you ha that I've ever seen personally and um, every game this year has been 100% hard. Nothing's been a walk in a park so for me uh, yeah it's just it's just tough. One and down, three There's a lot of people um, are afraid of failure. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to get up close. I'm going to guard the best player. If I fall, he dunks on me or, you know, whatever, makes a shot in my face. That's a part of basketball. That type of stuff is going to happen. Um, they always say if you get knocked down, your, your hardest thing to do is get back up. So um, every play I think that in my mind, like when I slipped, uh, or whatever, I don't know what happened, but I fell and everybody oohed. And uh, the first thing I thought on my mind is basketball. It's going to happen. Just get back on D. Um, I saw him pulling up for a shot, so I just went to block it and got a good piece of it. And then we came down, got an assist, went up by six. It was just a crazy transition of plays, but uh, the, team, uh, the team knows how hard I play D. Um, they feed off that a little bit. Um, so if they see me, you know, I fall, you know, I get made a fool of, and I come back harder my next time down, that's just going to be contagious. They're going to want to do the same thing. They're not going to be embarrassed uh, if something happens to them. Because at the end of the day, it's, oh, we got to win. We got to win. That's all that matters. Hope you guys enjoyed that all access look at the Drew League. Had a lot of fun, great game as well. And it was nice sitting down with Frank, really good young dude. Uh, taking care of his family and all that really cool to see uh, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is for the people that aren't sports fans that are actually watching this is just getting comfortable being uncomfortable and by that I mean right now I'm working on a TV show idea or a digital show idea and so you know I have like someone's working on the website and we're doing photo stuff and I'm coming up with ideas and putting a lot of time in and I'm email blasting everybody and bugging people but at the end of the day, you still gotta go out and grind. And by that, I mean, get away from just being behind the computer all the time and trying to set stuff up and aim, 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 aim. At some point, you just gotta fire and get out there, meet some people, have someone say, no, I'm not really interested in sitting down with you. I don't wanna do an interview with you. Uh, not being afraid to take that kind of conversation. and. You know, I, I had a really quick talk with Baron Davis, who's one of the best basketball players LA has ever produced, and now he's getting into film. And so I, I really want to sit down with him and talk to him about film. And we talked for maybe 45 seconds to a minute, and he could not have been nicer in that minute. Um, we exchanged information, and he seemed actually down to interview. But as you're walking up to someone like that, you're sometimes like our own feeling is like, shit, what if this guy doesn't want to talk to me? Or what if he blows me off? At the end of the day, who gives a fuck? Like, <laughs> if he didn't want to interview with me, I'd probably never see him again anyway. So let's stop thinking about what can go wrong and start thinking about what can go right. And instead of just plan, 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 sometimes you got to get out there and like mix it up with people and meet people face to face. You may have a great idea and you may have someone in mind and you meet them face to face and you're like, and this guy's a douche or this woman isn't someone I want to do business with. So it's always great to just get out there, have some fun, be in a different place, be in a different spot, try to network and just enjoy the whole process of it instead of like myself, I'm behind the computer a lot, punching away. I maxed out my Yahoo email account yesterday and it's like, yeah, that's part of it. But another part of it too is just getting out 
and meeting people and then them also seeing your passion. Like I'm sure it didn't hurt that Baron saw me out with a camera really grinding and really working hard. Um, because if I'm just some guy emailing him out of the blue, probably wouldn't have been as likely to want to work with me or want to do an interview with me. So people respect the passion and even if they don't see it right away, just do your thing and at some point they'll be like, man, I'm seeing you all over the place or I'm seeing you all the time. Like, you know what? Now I actually do want to sit down with you. So whatever your idea is, I understand the grind. I understand, hey, there's going to be time when you got to be holed up in the house and doing your thing and putting in the work on a computer and stuff. But let's try to get outside too. Let's try to mix it up, get comfortable being uncomfortable and just chase your dream. Thanks for watching.